Hey Jacobson, artsy fartsy life. So today we're going to be looking at the decoupage envelopes and this is what they look like in real life. So they are decoupaged on this side and then reinforced with the paper on the back side. And I'm doing this for a um, ephemera folio. So here's all my little tags in here. And you can see I made a little tag there, so I know how to do that, where to put it. But I wanted to give you guys an idea of how I make these. So we're going to put this off to the side. And what I do is I take tea-stained envelopes. So this takes like 10 minutes to do. You soak them in a pan of, a pan of uh, coffee or tea. Um, this one's lighter, so this would have been tea, and then you could get it a little darker. And this is funny. So it was in my Caffalon pan, so it showed up when I put it in the oven. You put it in the oven for about 10 minutes on the lowest setting your oven has, and it will um, not totally dry it, but then you'll have this kind of crinkly, little bit tougher paper. Now the thing you want to do is you, a lot of times I'll tear off this part right here, and then you want to use other papers to reinforce these corners right here. And that is going to keep your envelope, see on this one I left it on, but I reinforced these sides so that they're stiffer. On this one there's none, but you want to reinforce this corner or after you use it for a little while it will start to um, break down. And then you're going to, what I do is I, I put papers all over the front and then I will come in later and decoupage this over with some Mod Podge. And that helps reinforce all these parts. And then when you bend it over to shut the envelope, it's nice and sturdy instead of being so papery. And then, oh, I wanted to show you this real quick. When I do the papers, I use um, the Distress Ink pads and go around. If you have a really fragile paper, which some of these guys in here, are re this really fragile paper, I just do a tiny bit of distress because it falls apart as I do it. And I wouldn't use that really old fragile paper here on the corner. So I would use it more on, um, on an inside part, just kind of decorative, right? And then what I do is I use my um, decoupage papers. Now on this one that's a darker piece, I would either use all lighter pieces of paper or even do a little bit of white gesso on it so that it would show up better and then um, just decoupage this on top and it winds up looking like those. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.